My name is Tom Christensen, and I am a work in progress. <laughs> Born and raised right here, never ventured very much out of Villa Park. I knew God would be a part of my life when I was a kid. I didn't devote my life to God for many, many years after that. Growing up, very happy child, very active in sports, very decorated in sports, all-conference baseball player, thought that was going to be my career. I had the option for a scholarship at the uh, University of Arizona for baseball. I opted not to go. I don't know. I was uh, very close to my family and didn't want to leave home. And then I got married and my wife left. I found myself as a single parent with two kids ages two and three. I faced some pretty tough times. My sister died of lupus disease. Um, two weeks later, my mom died of a heart attack. Two years after that, my father was diagnosed with single cell lung cancer. And he finally succumbed to cancer. I was lost, I was lost, totally lost. You know, I mean, responsibility up the yin yang and, you know, nobody to help. Enter Janine, I uh, met her through a softball friend. Being able to offer nothing, I asked her to marry me and she accepted. But God pulls at you sometimes and, and if you're open to his word, he's going to put that word in your mind. And he did. 1999, Janine and I got baptized at Lombard Bible Church and we rededicated ourselves to the Lord. God will lead you in a direction and it's up to you to recognize that call. God put in my heart that cooking is my thing and I followed that. I learned how to cook when I was a single parent. I decided to take a cooking class on a whim. And I, from that cooking class, I decided that I wanted to become a chef from one class. So for six years, evenings and weekends, four nights a week, I would travel to Elgin, a 50 mile round trip, and I got my culinary degree. I became a chef. All right, we're gonna make pepper steak for dinner. So right here I have some celery, onion, three kinds of peppers just for looks because you eat with your eyes as well as you do with your palate, fresh garlic. And I have some nice round steak. I have it all sliced into little slices that will braise for about an hour and a half and it will be the best meal. Two years ago, I slipped on the ice, hurt my knee. Before I had the knee surgery, during routine physical tests, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Whoa. Sure. Since that time, uh, I've been in remission. Cancer is still there, but it's under control. You realize that God is all you need, and, and that, that doesn't come to fruition until you realize that God is all you've got. I'm sure God has a plan for my life, and I'm solid in that. I've devoted, uh, in this two years, I've vowed not to just sit there and, and, and do nothing. I've written a book about this experience. God put it on my heart to write something, to journal this whole affair. 700 days I'm, I've been journaling this and, and I'm putting recipes in, recipes that have been in our family for generations, you know, grandma's things, my mom's things. These are recipes on bits of newspaper and bits of napkin and paper bags. It was my idea to put this whole knee thing, cancer thing, cooking thing in one nice tidy little package and, and that's what I've done. You know, I look at this knee thing and I think, wow, why me? Why did this knee thing happen? You know, if, if I didn't go through this knee procedure, they'd have never found out the cancer. Everything that happens to me builds character, it builds integrity, and I'm a better man for it. I guess the key is not to give thanks for all circumstances, but to give thanks in all circumstances. You'll never see me down. I just won't let that happen. With all that's happened, I could, I could be that mopey guy, but you know what? I'm not. God doesn't want me to be a mopey guy. God wants me to be joyful. I want people to say, I want what he has. You know, I want what he has. With the joy, with all he's been through, he's still got joy. How, do, how, how can that be? And it's very possible. Just give your life to the Lord. I mean, I, it sounds so easy. It sounds so cliche, but there's truth in it.